Hi, welcome to TeachMath. Sa video na ito, pag-uusapan natin yung evaluating functions using an expression or terms with variables and numbers as the elements of our domain. Same with this um, examples. So let's have our example number 1. So for example number 1, let's say we are asked to evaluate this function f of x is equals to 4x plus 2 and then find f of 3x. Okay? So as you observed, tulad sa previous example natin, so we evaluate functions using a specific number and then you answer a specific number then. Now, if you're asked to evaluate functions using this um, kind of inputs or domain, so we expect natin ng ating answer ay may variable din or expression din. So let's answer this example number 1. So we have f of x is equals to 4x plus 2. So again, same ang procedure na i natin. So let's copy the entire function. We have f of x and that is equals to 4x plus 2. So, ang next step natin, since we're asked to evaluate this one using 3x as our domain, so let's plug in the value of 3x. So, it will give us f of 3x. And then, lahat ng variable na makikita natin sa ating mismong function, papalatan natin ng 3x. So, let's simplify or substitute. So, therefore, it will give us 4 times the variable x. Again, x means the input or domain, 3x. And then, copy the remaining term, which is plus 2. And then, after that, just simplify the given expression. So, again, I multiply lang natin yung value 4 sa mismong value ng ating 3x. So we have 4 times 3x, that is equals to 12x. And then copy the remaining term which is plus 12, or plus 2, sorry. So again, we have 12x plus 2. Since wala na tayong term na i-combine pa, that is the final answer. So again, for f of 3x of the given function, the answer is equals to 12x plus 2. So again, in-evaluate natin using this expression, or um, terms with variables, ang answer natin ay terms with variables then. So let's have example number 2. So for example number 2, we have f of x is equals to x plus 8. And let's find the value of f of x plus 3. This time binomial naman yung magiging input natin. So let's answer this problem. Again, let's copy the entire function. We have f of x, alright, that is equals to x plus 8. This time, let's plug in the value of our domain or x plus 3. So, magiging f of x plus 3. And then, ang next step natin, syempre, ipa-plug in natin siya or it's a substitute as the value of x sa ating mismong function. So, let's substitute. Therefore, that is equals to, again, the variable x or x plus 3. And then, copy the remaining term which is plus 8. So, after natin may substitute, so our next step is to simplify or combine like terms. So, this time, meron tayong two constants, which is 3 and 8. So, let's combine their values. Therefore, it will give us x. And then, we have 3 plus 8. So, that is equals to 11. So, the answer is x plus 11. And that's it. So, that is the function. So, f of x plus 3 is equals to x plus 11. Alright, so let's proceed to example number 3. So, same procedure lang. So, example number 3, what if meron tayong function na merong exponent? So, let's answer this problem. f of x is equals to x squared plus 2. And let's find the value of f of x plus 2. Okay, so same procedure this time. The value of our input or domain, we have x plus 2. So, let's copy the entire function. Again, we have f of x and that is equals to x squared okay, plus 2. So, i-plug in natin yung value ng ating mismong function. We have x plus 2. So, we have f of x plus 2. Again, i-substitute natin siya as the value of our x. So, that is equals to, okay, so we have x or x plus 2. So, let's copy x plus 2. And then, don't forget to, okay, copy the exponent. So, we have f x plus 2 squared and then copy the remaining term plus 2. Now, ang next na gagawin natin is to simplify. Okay? So, we have here x plus 2 squared, meaning we need to apply the square of a binomial for this given problem. So, ano nga bang ibig sabihin mo na na squared? Okay? So, again, for example, let's say we have 2 squared. 2 squared means 2 times 2, twice. Okay? So, same with 3 squared. Ang ibig sabihin niyan is 3 times 3. 2 times din natin silang pagmumultiplyan. Now, in terms of the square of binomials, again, x plus 2 squared means it will give us x plus 2 times another x plus 2. So, meron tayong dalawang terms na pagmumultiplyan dito. And then, copy the remaining plus 2. So, yung first values natin, which is yung x plus 2, imumultiply natin sa ating second value, which is x plus 2. Siyempre, meron tayong technique para masimplify ito. Let's apply the smile method, also known as the foil method. So, again, Kaya siya tinawag na smile method kasi pag in natin siya, so magkakaroon tayo ng parang terms na naka-smile. So let's apply by the way. So we have x times x. Alright, so that is equals to x squared. So individually, 
or individual, i-multiply natin yung mga terms na to sa bawat terms na meron sa kabilang binomial. So, x plus, or x times x equals to x squared followed by, okay, that is first, outside, x times 2, okay, that is equals to plus 2x, and then, inside, we have 2 times x, alright, so we have plus another 2x, and then last, or L, we have 2 times 2, and that is equals to plus 4. And then, don't forget to copy the remaining term, which is plus 2. So, let's copy plus 2. Alright. So, again, kaya siya tinatawag din na smile method sa ibang references kasi makapansin ninyo, mukhang naka-smile yung figure na nabuo natin. So, by the way, let's proceed, okay? So, our next step is to combine like terms. So, I have here this quadratic term and two set of... Um, two set of linear terms, okay? So, we have 2x and another 2x and then another two set of constant terms. So, pag combine lang natin silang lahat. So, let's simplify. Therefore, this one will give us x squared and then 2x plus 2x, that is equals to positive 4x and then 4 plus 2, that is equals to 6. So, we have plus 6 and that's it. So, that's the final answer. So, the value of f of x plus 2 for the given problem or function, that is equals to x squared plus 4x plus 6. Okay, so again, in-apply natin yung file method because we are asked to square a binomial. Okay, so let's have example number 4. So for example number 4, what if ito naman yung problem natin? So we have f of x is equals to x cubed minus 5x squared. So let's find the value of f of negative 4x. Okay, this time, same lang naman yung procedure natin. So meron na lang tayong negative term na may variable. So, let's simplify. Okay? So, again, let's copy the entire function. We have f of x that is equals to x cubed minus 5x squared. Okay? So, later, i-consider natin yung mga exponents na yan. So, let's plug in the domain or the input. We have negative 4x. Okay? And then, let's substitute their values. Okay? So, again, it will give us x cubed or another value of x. So, lagyan natin negative 4x and then don't forget to copy the value of the exponent, which is cubed, okay? Minus 5 times another x. So let's plug in the value of x. So we have negative 4x, and then copy the exponent squared, okay? So again, ang next step natin is to simplify the values. Again, so according to the law of exponents, if we have this negative number, and then may variable raised to an exponent. So, si exponent, pwede natin siyang i-distribute sa bawat term, sa numerical, numerical coefficient, at syempre sa variable ng isang term. Therefore, this one will give us negative 4 cube. Okay? So, meaning negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. That is equals to negative 64. So, let's write negative 64. And then, x cube, meaning we have x cube. Alright. So, yun ang inattach ko lang siya sa kanyang variable. And then, let's have uh, minus, okay, 5 times. So, pwede muna natin i-simplify yung terms na to sa kanyang exponent, okay? So, we have negative 4 squared, that is equals to positive 16. And then, we have x raised to 2, so we have x squared. Okay, so pwede na natin siyang i-multiply. Again, natin exponent natin. So, pwede na natin itong i-multiply sa kanyang value, which is 5. Okay, so sa kanyang factor which is 5. So let's um, simplify. So again, we have negative 64x cubed. And then we have negative 5 times 16x squared. Okay, so negative 5 times 16, that is equals to negative 80. And then copy the variable with the exponent x squared. So the answer is negative 64x cubed minus 80x squared. So that is the final answer. Alright, so let's have example number 5. Okay. Now, for example, number 5, what if yung variable naman natin sa function ay isang exponent? Like this one, okay? So, for example, number 5, we have f of x is equals to negative 4 raised to 3x plus 2. Let's evaluate or find the value of f of x minus 2. Okay, same procedure. So, let's copy the entire function and then substitute lang natin. So, we have f of x, again, that is equals to negative 4 raised to 3x plus 2. So, i-plug in natin yung ating mismong x. We have x minus 2. Alright? And then, lahat ng x natin dito, which is exponent, i-substitute natin as x minus 2. So, it will give us, okay, negative 4 raised to 3 times x. So, ang x natin again ay x minus 2. And then, don't forget to copy the remaining exponent, which is plus 2. So, ang next step natin, syempre, is simplify. So, we are allowed to distribute the value of 3. So, that is according to the, okay, 
distributive property of multiplication. So again, that is equals to negative 4 raised to, okay? So our exponent change 3 times x, we have 3x, and then 3 times negative 2, that is minus 6 or negative 6, and then copy the remaining plus 2. So this time, para mas simplify natin para sa final answer, let's combine the like terms, okay? So therefore, the final answer, that is equals to negative 4 raised to 3x, and then we have negative 6 plus 2, that is equals to negative 4, and that's it. So wala na tayong terms pa na may simplify, that is the final answer. We have negative 4 raised to 3x minus 4. So let's have our last example para sa ating discussion right now. So what if we're asked to simplify like this one? Okay, so example number 6, f of x is equal to 3x squared plus x. Let's find the value of f of x minus 2. So same with our previous example. This time, may apply natin dito mamaya yung um, square of a binomial. Okay? So again, let's simplify this. Okay, so we have f of x and that is equals to 3x squared plus x. So again, yung magiging value ng ating domain or x ay x minus 2. So it will give us f of x minus 2. So let's substitute. So meron tayong dalawang pinasong x na pagpapalitan natin right now. So we have, okay, so let's substitute their value. So we have 3 times x. So ang x natin ay x minus 2. So we have x minus 2 and then copy the exponent squared, okay? And then plus another x. So papalitan ulit natin to ng x minus 2. And that's it. So let's simplify. Now, before natin siyang i-distribute sa x minus 2, since naka-raise siya sa kanyang exponent, i-simplify muna natin tong term na to. So unahin natin yung term na to with the exponent before natin siyang i-multiply k3. So therefore, it will give us 3 times, okay, the values are, so we have x minus 2 squared, meaning we have x minus 2 times another x minus 2. So i-simplify muna natin tong dalawang terms na to. We have x minus 2 times another x minus 2. That is according to its exponent. And then, let's copy the remaining plus x minus 2. Alright, so again, let's apply FOIL method ulit sa ating mismong problem. So, we have x times x, okay? So, it will give us, again, 3 times the value of, okay? x times x, that is equals to x squared. That is the first. And then, outside, x times negative 2. We have negative 2x followed by, um, inside, okay? So, we have negative 2 times x, that is equals to another negative 2x, and then, syempre, sa foil, yung pinaka-last letter, yung L, which is last. So, we have negative 2 times negative 2, that is equals to positive 4. And then, let's copy the remaining term. So, we have plus x minus 2. Alright, so, ang next na gagawin natin, syempre, before natin siya i-combine sa kabilang terms, okay, which is yung common term niya, yung x and negative 2, so, isi-simplify muna natin yung expression na to, before natin siyang i-combine, syempre, i-multiply muna natin siya sa kanyang factor, which is 3. Okay? So, let's combine like terms. So, it will give us 3 times, okay, x squared. So, kailangan natin i-combine yung dalawang negative 2x. So, negative 2x minus 2x, that is equals to negative 4x. And then, plus 4. And then later, let's add plus x minus 2. So, before natin i-consider yung x minus 2 sa kabilang side ng ating um, expression, syempre, i-distribute muna natin yung value of 3. Okay? Sa bawat terms na meron tayo dito. So, it will give us 3 times x squared. Okay? That is equals to 3x squared. Followed by 3 times negative 4x. That is equals to a negative number. Negative 12x. And then last, we have 3 times positive 4. That is equals to plus 12. And then, let's copy the remaining plus x minus 2. So, para sa ating final answer, syempre, we need to combine the common or the like terms. So, let's combine the value of negative 12x and the variable x. Okay? So, the linear terms. And then, let's combine the value of positive 12 and negative 2 as the constant terms. Okay? Therefore, the final answer again is equals to 3x squared. So, we have negative 12x plus x. So, that is equals to negative 11x. And then, we have 12 minus 2. That is equals to positive 10. And that's it. So, that is the final answer. Therefore, the f of x minus 2 of the given function, the answer is equals to 3x squared minus 11x plus 10. And that's it. So, yun yung mga procedures and steps na apply natin if you're asked to evaluate functions using an expression or terms with variables and numbers. Thank you and God bless.